Thank you, Hannah. Change is on the horizon after the Cabell County Board of Education voted unanimously to approve a levy on the ballot that will restore funding to the Cabell County Public Library System and the Greater Huntington Park and Rec System. News Channel 3's Kimberly Kagey was at the meeting and joins us now. And Kimberly, uh, positive feedback from the crowd <laughs> attending tonight. Well, you don't see a standing ovation at many school board meetings, but once the board voted unanimously, you could tell that a lot of community members felt relieved. The parks and libraries are places where families create memories. On Tuesday, Cabell County Superintendent Tim Hardesty asked the board to adopt and approve a plan which fully restores funding to both the library and the parks in a special meeting. The board approved the motion unanimously. A decision that brought a standing ovation from community members in the crowd. Under the excess levy that will appear on the ballot in November, about $1.8 million would be allocated to Cabell County Public Libraries and about $575,000 to the Greater Huntington Park and Recreation District. It felt really, uh, I guess, comforting to know that the public wants the same things that I value as, a, as not only a, an employee but as a dad. Uh, our communities are stronger when we all work together. It's a huge relief, first of all. This has been a very difficult year for the libraries and the parks trying to manage the budget cuts that, uh, frankly, didn't make a lot of sense to us. The changes come after the former superintendent came up with a plan to cut funding, but voters rejected that levy in May. I think it's important that all three groups speak with a unified voice, and one way to do that is to have all three entities endorse the same proposal. Uh, I'm confident they will do that. The Cabell County Schools excess levy is a renewal of an existing one and will not raise taxes should voters approve it come November. Now, as for what's next for both the Park and Libraries Board, they're both expected to meet later on this week to vote on that levy. However, both directors have publicly expressed mm -hmm. their approval of this new one. All right, thanks, Kimberly. That levy, by the way, will appear on the ballot in November. It also provides funding for already existing school resource officers' salaries, the salaries for paid athletic coaches, and cyber safety and device security. New tonight, Enos Little 